Hello dear viewers, welcome. Myself, Professor Mishram Kasurita, Assistant Professor in Department of English, JAT, Arts, Science and Commerce College for Kirwin, Maliba. The topic of my presentation is a short story written by Sudha Murthy. In Sayyadri Hills, a lesson in humility. Dear viewers, this is a very interesting short story written by Indian writer Sudha Murthy. Sudha Murthy Kulkarni was born on 19th August 1951 at Chicago. She did her MTech in computer science. She is an Indian educator, author, and philanthropist. She is the chairperson of the Infosys Foundation. She is a prolific writer in English. She wrote in Canada. She has written nine novels, four technical books, three travelogues, and a collection of short stories. She has written three collections of non-fiction pieces and two books for children also. Her books have been translated into all the major Indian languages and have sold over three lakh copies around the country. She married to the co-founder of Infosys, N.R. Narayan Murthy. Sudha Murthy was awarded with Padmashri, the fourth highest civilian award in India. She was awarded that award for social work. It was awarded by Government of India in 2006. Later on, she was awarded the Padma Bhushan also. This is the third highest civilian award in India. Sudha Murthy began her professional career in computer science and engineering. She is a member of the Public Health Care Initiatives of the Gates Foundation. She has founded several orphanages. She participated in the rural development efforts and supported the movement to provide all Karnataka government schools with computers and library facilities. She has established Murthy Classical Library of India at Harvard University. Sudha Murthy is best known for her philanthropy and for her contribution to literature in Canada and English. She acted in Marathi films as well as in Canada films. So, she is a versatile personality. The notable works written by Sudha Murthy in English are 3000 Stitches, The Man from the Egg, Here and There Everywhere, The Magic of the Lost Temple, The Bird with Golden Wings, How I Taught My Grandmother to Read and Other Stories, The Old Man and His God, Wise and Other Wise, Mahashweta, the day I stopped drinking milk, the serpent's revenge, gently falls the baluka, house of cars, something happened to the way to the heavens, the magic of drum and other favorite stories, the bird with the golden wings, how the sea became salty, how the onion got its layers, the daughter from fish, fish tree. Grandpa's bag of stories, Dollar Book, The Gopi Diaries, The Story, in Sayyadri Hills, a lesson. Now, this story, the story Lesson in Humility in Sayyadri Hills, is written by Sudha Murthy and it is taken from her collection Wise and Otherwise. Now this story is based on her own experience from one of her trips to Sayyadri Hills. In this story, Sudha Murthy went up the Sayyadri Hills. It was rainy season. During rainy season, the school which was located in tribal area was in Hilly region. After reaching there, she found that the school had only a single 
little castle with two tables and two chairs. The window had no shutter and there was a single black bowl and a water pot. There was only an elderly man. He worked as a watchman as well as a peon in exchange for a free education to his grandson. When the author tried to communicate with the elder man, he took her to the head of the tribe, Thindapa. The author came to know that due to heavy rain, the children are unable to attend the class with great uniform and other concerns. Sudha Murthy asked Thindapa the problems that the children had while you are getting education in the school and he narrated that story and he said that children do not have uniforms, proper uniforms and as their clothes get wet, they cannot come to school. On hearing this, the author promised to bring something for the children and she decided to bring some clothes for the children. So on her next trip, she came back with a set of uniforms and umbrellas for the children. Then she asked the children what problems they face while studying at the school and they expressed their wish to learn computers and they further informed her that they have never seen any computer. They saw just only pictures of computer. So Sudha Murthy promised the children to bring some books on computers in Canada language. She found that the children were interested to learn about computers. So she promised to look for them such a book. And not only this, but she said that if she would not find any book, she would write one herself for them. At this juncture, what happened? Thandapa went inside his hut. He brought a bottle of red juice and he handed it over to Sudha Murti. She gave her that bottle of juice and he informed her that this juice is made from red fruit which are collected from the jungle. Sudha Murthy was hesitant to accept it because she had gone there to give but not to accept. Moreover, she found that the locals, means those tribal peoples, they were very poor. They themselves had hardly anything to eat and drink. So in such condition, if those people were so poor, how could she accept such gift from them? So she refused. But when she refused politely, she was surprised that Thandapa also declined her gifts. He refused to accept the gifts offered by Sudha Murti. He said that he would not accept those umbrellas and those clothes. He explained that as a matter of principle which are set upon them by their ancestors, they could only accept gifts from someone when he had something to offer in return and if it was accepted. Thandapa insisted that it is their culture to give something in return for anything. And Sudha Murthy was impressed by it. She was humbled by the high principles followed by an old tribal man with no schooling. Thandapa, the senior most man of the tribe, he remarked that there is grace in accepting also. Dear years, Thandapa practiced a highly principled philosophy of life. He said, give when you take and do not take without giving. What a philosophy. Give 
when you take and do not take without you we are yours this is the culture at its best this is the culture which is dying nowadays do we still practice it if we don't how do we expect the millennials to do it dear viewers it reminded me of an old practice which was very prevalent in our our homes for a long time dear viewers you may remember that your grandmother and then your mother never sent back any empty bowl plate or tray the neighbor return or the neighbor sent back such empty bowl or plate to the house from where we received something such a small and simple practice they gave whatever was available in the house maybe fruits or sweets and sometimes even sugar also so you don't always have to go out of your way this is a thought that comes and shows in small gestures dear viewers what a great lesson is taught by that tribal man to sudha murti and not only to sudha murti but even to the readers also so thank you for watching thanks